morning and welcome to Unity on the Space Coast. Thank you for spending the next hour with us on this beautiful Sunday morning. This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest. To the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. As I went walking down that ribbon of highway, I saw above me. That endless skyway I saw below me That golden valley This land was made for you and me Oh, this land Oh, this land This land was made for you and me This land, oh, this land, this land was made for you and me. under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's get loud. Cause this Cause land was made for you and gather here together for community, for love, for support, showing strength and health and happiness. We join online for the same purpose, to celebrate our good works of the week. We see each and every soul that's here with us today being lifted to their highest consciousness being the best example of them that they can be. We know that there's only one power in the universe and in our lives, God the good, omnipotent. We give thanks for this in and after the nature of Jesus the Christ, and so it is. Amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. It's so nice to see everybody. Wave to everybody that's online. It's wonderful to have everybody here, however you're coming in. It's wonderful to have you. Now, the first week of January, we celebrated January birthdays. However, we left off a whole list of folks. It was not intentional, but we're going to do it again. So I'm going to give you the birthdays one more time. 
We have Joan Richardson, January 2nd, Barbara McGillicuddy, January 4th, Joe Richardson on January 4th, Rose Mitchell, January 5th, Vara Bowden, January 9th, Bob Camp, January 15th, <laughs> Judy Bell, January 23rd, Dee Dee Beat, January 27th, Deb Crawford, January 28th, and Mark Holler, January 31st. I mean, wasn't January a busy, busy month? And to think, I think we had five when we did it originally, and I apologize for um, all of that. And if you have a birthday coming up, email us and let us know when it is. We'll put you on the calendar. So now let's sing happy birthday to all these beautiful souls. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Friends, help 
helping hands we're willing to lend moving forward making amends so let these good days never end let these great weeks never end let these best years never end it's gonna be a good day today. Yay! Praise God. All right. Our reading today is from the Daily Word. After I get my water. Thank you so much. I walked off without it. You know, we can't have that happen. All right. So our word for today, I'm not going to use that up there, honey. Mm -mm. Yep. Thank you. Um, this year, Unity in Missouri, unity.org, they have put together a whole calendar for the year, and they're using one of the 12 powers every month and giving us great graphics and all this wonderful stuff and a lot of good talk and words and, and fun stuff to go. So faith is our word for today. I let go in faith and trust my spiritual source. Faith is the power that frees me to let go of personal control. I do not have to manage my own way through everything. A wise grandmother once told her grandson, don't boss the job. She was telling him to trust his indwelling spiritual power. The perfect power of his divinity would direct him to perfect outcomes. His only call to action was to yield to that power. As I yield to my spiritual source, I trust my highest and best outcomes are unfolding in me. With faith, I surrender and find myself guided in ways that may surprise me. I release my need to have everything figured out in advance. Calling upon my faith, I trust in the perfection, intelligence, and love of the divine. Our scripture today is from 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. For whatever is born of God conquers the world. And this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Yay. Amen. Amen. Yes. So this week was another really interesting week. We just keep having interesting weeks after interesting weeks after interesting weeks, right? Um, how many of you watched the inauguration this week? You know what? I, I have decided because, you know, it's my decision to make, that we should never have any more inauguration balls. We should just have an inauguration day and just party like that every four years. That was awesome. I, you know, I was trying to get the right phone number to let them know whoever put that together, they all need a bonus. It was way too much fun. Um, I don't know if you noticed that our guys today sang the version that J-Lo sang during the inauguration. Wasn't that beautiful? Thank you all very much for doing that. Yeah. It was absolutely, some of it was just breathtaking. Um, the fireworks at the end, you know, I pretty much figure we have the corner on fireworks with Disney. Because, you know, Disney knows how to do a fireworks show. 
I'll never look at them the same again. That was just spectacular. So, no matter how you feel about it, no matter who you voted for, no matter what you think of anything else, it was a great day. It was a great day. And we got to be a part of it, really, for the very first time. I thought that was just awesome. You know, there is a Tao parable about a farmer, probably nearly 2,000 years old, but the farmer has this prize horse. It's, it's, his, it's his favorite thing. It's his prized possession, this horse. And one day the horse runs off, just runs off. And the neighbor goes, oh, that's, that's bad luck. And the farmer says, good or bad, too hard to tell. A few days later, that horse comes back with seven wild horses. Wow. The neighbor goes, wow, that's great. That's good. And the farmer says, good, bad, hard to say. Then a couple days later, the son was trying to tame one of the wild horses that he fell off and he broke his leg. And the neighbor goes, oh, bad luck, very bad luck. And the farmer says, good, bad, too hard to tell. Then a few days later, these officers come through the village and they're looking for young men to draft into their army. And they take one look at the son and see his broken leg and they leave him and move on. And again, the neighbor's like, wow. How very fortunate. That was good. What do you think the farmer says? Good, bad, hard to say. You know, if we can stand back and look at the universe in a larger picture, it is sometimes hard to say. If we look back on things that we've considered bad in our lives, often we'll see how something good came from it. And I know I have been telling you guys pretty solid for the last year that God uses all things for good. And that's basically what the farmer is saying. Good, bad, hard to say. We'll see. Because life is a pendulum, right? It moves back and forth and back and forth. And the only thing that gives it power of good or bad is our thought about it. And I'm not saying that horrible things don't happen because they do. They do. But for every horrible thing that's happened in my life, I've been fortunate enough to be able to see it from way back here at some point and notice that God actually did use it for good and generally had a task for me to do with it as well. So I'm hoping that no matter anybody's feelings about anything that happened, that they all took the chance to take a step back and enjoy that day, that inauguration yeah. day. Quite beautiful. And then we hold our nation, our, our city, our nation, our state, our world in prayer every single day because we're unity folks and that's what we do, right? We pray. We know that prayer really works. You know, I heard um, Daniel Namod, he went live one day last week. How many of you remember Daniel? He was here in February, yeah, great guy. And he was talking about trauma. And he, he talked about um, someone going into the hospital and having trauma and having to go through the, the whole process of rehabilitation and um, doing the work that they needed to, to do to get past that trauma. 
and he gave a couple of examples in his life, stories of some trauma he had experienced. I think I've given you guys most of my stories of trauma. Um, the one that I think suits best is the fact that uh, I was an abused spouse for many, many, many years. Uh, my mother, too, was for nearly 30 years. I really hadn't gotten an example of any other way to do it, honestly. And so I fell right in line with that. I was able, after several years, to break away from that and regain me, because that's really what I lost in that process, was any identification of who I was at all. So I was able to break free of that, move on. And then years later, when I had done my work and lost any kind of emotional trauma, reliving the trauma through um, talking about it or thinking about it, when I was able to release that through the forgiveness work that I did for many years, I was then able to work with other women going through the same thing in various stages of that trauma. Nobody could understand them as well as I could understand them. No judgment, no thinking, why don't you just leave him? Because I understood. I understood. But I also knew that you can crawl up out of that hole. And I was there with a the ladder if you wanted it. Right? God uses all things together for good. And I've been telling you that we are destined for great things because we are. Each and every one of us are destined for great things. And I can't wait to see what that is. I already see it in, in many of you. You know, we were talk I was talking with some friends earlier, and they said, well, we don't know your music. And I said, nobody does because the, they all write it themselves. So nobody knows their music. <laughs> But we're trying to get past that. We're trying to make sure they, they learn it. Like that song that we just did about a good day that was written by our music director, um, Eric Brook. <laughs> Yay. You know, one of these days, I'm going to be able to look at him. Now, I have known him at least six years at this point, I would think, right? We've worked very closely together on every possible type of service you can ever imagine. And yet when I look at him, my brain goes blank. It's like there's this little blank sector just before his name. And so I have to go, our music director, blank sector, Eric Brook. Almost 100% of the time. I do really know him, I promise. I do really know him and he's a wonderful, wonderful man. So I wanted to share scripture, <laughs> and this tickled me so bad this morning, because I, I have, actually haven't read from this Bible in a while, and um, I didn't look at it last night, or I didn't look at it until this morning. Um, this used to be a large letter Bible. It says it's still large print, but... <laughs> I turned 60 and went blind. Woke up that morning blind. I don't know. And I didn't even think of that when I, um, until I opened it up and then I chuckled. It's like, that's not such large print. But it's from Matthew. Yay, Matthew. Matthew rocks. Uh, chapter 12, verse 40, uh, uh, excuse me. Matthew 12. Ooh. Uh, Verse 13, chapter 18. Now, Jesus, you know, he taught in parables all the time. And this is another parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what is sown in the heart. This is what was sown on the path. As for what was sown on rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. 
Yet such a person has no root, but endures only for a while. And when trouble or persecution arises on account of the word, that person immediately falls away. Do you ever get like that? Yeah. You're, oh, yay, that's great. And then in no time flat, you're mad at the lady checking you out at Publix, right? Because it doesn't have any root. Your, your joy, the, the joy that you're experiencing that day isn't founded in the word. It's telling us we have to uh, get into our prayer and meditation every day to get grounded, to lay the roots for that day. And it's been my experience that the roots I laid yesterday don't do the trick for today. You know, we get manna for every day as we need it, not for tomorrow, but for today. As for what is sown among the thorns, and this is the part I really love, this is the one who hears the word, but the cares of the world and the lure of wealth choke the word, and it yields nothing. But as for what was sown on good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case, a hundredfold, in another, sixty, and another, thirty. Um, I guess what I'm trying to tell you today is to wake up every day and make a decision. Make a decision that today's going to be a great day. No matter what you see on TV, no matter what somebody posts on Facebook, today's going to be a great day because you're going to make an actual decision each and every day. And you're going to ground that in connecting with God. You're going to ground that in prayer and meditation so that anything that happens throughout your day, no matter what you hear, you can turn the other cheek and remember that God uses everything together for good. That today your job is to be the best you can be at expressing God in your life. And trust God that we will see good in everything if we give it time. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I did it again. You guys want to come sing with me? Would it be okay if they sang with me during the meditation? What do you want to sing? Nothing like putting them on the spot. So when we do this together, we do this occasionally, and they'll sing, and um, I'll do the meditation. It's not meant necessarily as a meditation where you go down real deep. It's meant to move your soul. Right? So close your eyes and get comfortable. Allow your soul to feel the notes, feel the movement in the music. Be prepared for a journey. I am light, I am light. I The mistakes my father made Or any other places in the cave I am not afraid I am not ashamed I am light I am light Feel the truth Of the love and light that's in you Know that in this moment, we are exactly where we're supposed to be. 
doing exactly what we're supposed to be doing. We can release yesterday. We don't have to worry about tomorrow because we receive everything that we need in each and every moment. I am light, I am light. I am light, I am light. I am not the voices of the slave. I am not the people that they grieve. I am light. I am light. Breathe in and exhale. Knowing that we are the perfect children of God. Can you feel that? Can you feel it in your heart? Can you feel it behind your belly button? Can you believe it for yourself today? The perfect child of God. I am the Holy One walking the perfect journey. I am awake and holy. My heart is full, my mind is free. I am the Holy One, walking the perfect journey. I am awake and holy. My heart is full, my mind. We know that we have within us everything that we need to continue on in our day instead of reacting with fear, anger, or resentment. We can react with wonder. We can stand back and ask the question. Allow God to work in our lives. I am the Holy One, walking the perfect journey. I am awake and holy. My heart is full. My mind is free. Amen, and so it is. Woke up this morning, life as you know it Looks like nothing like the kind of life you knew before All of a sudden, fear stole the headlines And it don't feel safe to even step outside your door In this world, In this world 
you will have trouble, but I have overcome the world. So take heart, take a breath, let me lift that heavy weight up off your chest. Take my hand, I know it's looking dark. When the world falls all around you, I won't let you fall apart. Take heart. Take heart. Do you remember singing back when you were younger? He's got the whole world in his hand. I'll be looking for you, I'll be singing for you, and this whole world will be grand. In this world you will have trouble, but I have overcome the world. In this world you will have trouble, and I have overcome this world so take heart take a breath let me lift that heavy weight up off your chest take my hand I know it's looking dark when the world falls all around you I won't let you fall apart take heart up here and save me. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> All right, now is the time in our service where we celebrate our prosperity with our gifts, our tithes, and our love offerings. We have lots of different ways to give on our website, on Facebook, here in the building. There's a basket up here. We're not going to pass it around for obvious reasons, um, but you're welcome to put your offering in there at any time. And um, you know, we still actually get mail here, so we take mail as well. But no matter how you're giving, mm -hmm. hold the idea of your offering in your consciousness as we give the blessing together. Divine love through Amen. me blesses, blesses and multiplies all, all that I have, have all, all that I, I give. give and all that I receive. Thank you, God, for the joy of giving and receiving. And so it is. Amen. I'd like to also put a final blessing on it. The idea of knowing that it comes and we give back. It comes and we do God's work. We know that that's the way that it flows. <coughs> Mother, Father, God, we know that this offering is the very substance of your being and that it was created for you before the world, for us, excuse me, by you before the world was ever formed. We know, acknowledge, and affirm that according to your perfect law, it returns to each giver, heaped up, pressed down, shaken together, running over. And for an increased understanding of this perfect law, we do give thanks. And so it is. Amen. Amen. Yay. Yeah. You just like to share it. I like it.
Alarm clock screaming, bare feet hit the floor. It's off to the races, everybody out the door. I'm feeling like I'm falling behind, it's a crazy life. 90 miles an hour, going fast as I can. Trying to push a little harder, trying to get the upper hand. So much to do in so little time, it's a crazy life. It's ready, set, go, it's another wild day When the stress is on the rise and my heart I hear you say Just breathe, just breathe Come and rest at my feet And be, just be Chaos calls, but all oh, you Just breathe Third cup of joe just to get me through the day Wanna make the most of time while I feel it slip away I wonder if there's something more to this crazy life I'm busy, busy, busy and it's no surprise to see That I've only got time for me, me, me there's got to be something more to this crazy life I'm hanging on tight to another wild day When it starts to fall apart in my heart I hear you say Just breathe, just breathe Come and rest at my feet And be just It's to take it in, fill your lungs with the peace of God that overcomes. Just breathe, just breathe, yeah. Let your weary spirit rest, lay down what's good and find what's best. And just breathe, just breathe. Come and rest at my feet And be, just be Chaos calls, but all you really need Is to just breathe Just breathe All right, here at Unity, not just here at Unity, all Unity is founded on prayer. They've been praying uh, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year for, I believe, 130 years. That's a lot of prayer work. But we want to support you in prayer here as well. If you'd like to offer us your uh, prayer request, we have a prayer box with prayer request cards in the back of the sanctuary. You can also email us, messenger us on Facebook. Our website has a contact us or request prayer. Either one of those will work. Give us the information and we will put you on our prayer list and our prayer chaplains will pray for you all week long. Then we do send them to Silent Unity in Missouri and it's really cool because they put them in the chapel where they pray around the clock. And uh, they pray on them for another 30 days. So lots and lots of prayer support for that. We also uh, would like to extend a welcome to you if you're new here. I'm looking around. There might be a couple of people that I haven't met before. Um, we'd love to get to know you better. We have an information packet for you and 
You can do the same thing. Let us know that you'd like some information on all of those different ways. Email, messenger, contact us on our website. We are trying to be as available as we possibly can. So, and if you call the church, you'll probably get me because the phone goes directly to me. I have the best time with that. You know, ministers tell me I'm out of my mind for doing that. But I actually love it. When, when I see a number I don't know, it's always like, you know, I like the mail to come. I sing, I sing the Wells Fargo wagon song when the UPS <laughs> truck drives up. I get so excited about new information coming. So when I see a number come across there I don't know, I'm not sending it. I'm answering it. This is Roxanne. How can I help you? So don't be afraid to call the church. I like all those. Um, what else do we have? We have a video. We, one of our newest members, these three folks are our very newest members. They became members last week. We're very happy about that. But before them, Brandy Fowler was a, a new member. And she has a project, an outreach project, that she would love our help with. So she sent us a video. Hi everybody, it's Brandi Fowler, one of Unity on the Space Coast's newest members. Reverend Roxanne reached out to me to create a little video to let you know about a need we have. I work for St. Francis Reflections Life Stage Care, a nonprofit hospice located here in Brevard County. I'm the volunteer coordinator and one of my biggest duties is to help with our veteran pinnings. And one of the parts of our veteran pinnings are these beautiful homemade patriotic quilts that we present to our veteran patients along with a capital flag, a certificate, a pin, and a hat from a veteran volunteer and our staff to thank them for their service. We also have a pediatric patient program where we're looking for quilts as well. I'm here to ask any of you if you are a quilter or know of a quilter and are interested in donating, we'd love to have you join us as part of our crafting team. I'm gonna share my screen here really quick so you can see what our needs and my contact information is. Again, we're looking for patriotic themed quilts, quilts for um, specifically for children for our new pediatric palliative care program or any quilts. Um, if you don't want to do one of those two types, any type of quilt is perfect because we have patients that are inpatient unit in Titusville that we would love to give this gift to them. All sizes of quilts are accepted but lap quilts are preferred, especially for our patients that are wheelchair bound. You can reach me at bfowler at reflectionslsc.org, or you're free to give me a call anytime, 321-704-2319. Thank you guys for listening to this, joining in our mission of uplifting lives, uplifting each other, and uplifting the community. I look forward to meeting you all in person. Thanks, Unity. I did request that Brandy send me that slide so that we can put it up on Facebook and the website and, and have it so that you can go in and get that information. But what a great way to uh, spend your time while you're at home, right? Making quilts for a really, really good uh, purpose. So today at 1230, actually it's going to be earlier than that. Usually we can't get it together until 1245, but I think we're gonna be ready somewhere around 1215, 1220 for our annual meeting. This is a big thing. Everyone that's here in the building, you are absolutely welcome to stay. What happens is you hear what we did this year, you hear what we would like to do next year, we give you the budget, uh, how we did financially this year, then what our plans are for next year, the budget's voted in. We also have um, how many positions, Michael? Open. Open. Three positions open, so you get to vote on new board uh, members and uh, see what it's like because next year we're going to need more people and maybe you can volunteer then. Um, so stay and then you can ask questions, you can make suggestions if there's things you'd like to see us do. You know, we're learning how to do church in an entirely different 
universe. And we love all suggestions, okay? So please stay. It'd be great to have everybody. The annual meeting is on our regular Zoom number that everything else is on, 565-327-497, password 2000. You can get it off our website, Facebook page. Any event tile that you see has that Zoom number on it. So uh, right after service ends, go ahead and come in on Zoom and join us, okay? Let's see, we also have morning meditation every weekday morning at six o'clock with Michael and Barb. Yes, they really do get up to meditate at 6 a.m. And if you're looking for a way to ground yourself in God every day, that'd be a great way. It's a silent meditation, but you can feel the power. Tuesdays and Thursdays at 1 p.m., D. Constant and Dixie Reedy lead a metaphysics class. And what I've been joining them. It's been wonderful. They, they do some really great work um, breaking things down metaphysically, looking at the world at large, looking at specific pieces of scripture, looking at different books and that kind of thing. They have a plan for Lent this year. They are going to start the 16th, the Tuesday before Ash Wednesday, with uh, a true Lent. Keeping a true Lent, the Fillmore book. So if you'd like to join us for that, I'm sure I'm going to be joining them. Um, that'll be, it, it's a great way to go through Lent, quite frankly. One o'clock, same Zoom number, we only stay on for an hour. And then on um, Friday, the second Friday of the month, I think that's the 12th. That's correct. Oh, boy, that's amazing that I actually got that date right. <laughs> wow. Okay, Friday the 12th is our open mic night. If you're interested in sharing your gift of talent with us, we'd love to have you. Either you can send in um, videos and we'll post them and do them. You could come in on, on, um, on Zoom and chat with us and let us get to know you a little better. But if you have pre-recordings, we'll play those for you and then you know just love you up. But if you wanna just bring your guitar, or you wanna bring your uh, whatever it is and join us, we love to have them live as well. We had the best time this last open mic. We even had, where'd he go? There he is. We had Josh. Josh did stand-up comedy. It was a blast. You're quite funny, my friend. And I kept saying, I'd love, a, I'd love a comedian. I'd love a comedian. So we had one. Thank you. That's the 12th, and you can contact us any way that you want to contact us to get more information about that. But if you'd rather not share a talent, join us anyway to check out all the talent. You know, it sounds kind of silly, but make it a Friday night date. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Then Saturday, February 13th at 9 o'clock, <coughs> Michael and Barb are leading a meditation workshop. Probably just for an hour. Probably just for an hour. Yeah. Still at 9 o'clock? Yeah. 9 o'clock, 9 to 10, and it's going to be on Zoom this time as well. So another good way to... Uh, Tap into the universe, I think is what they're calling it. All right. Let's go ahead, stand up, and sing our song of peace. Let 
this be the moment now, right now? With every step I take, let this be my joyous vow. because we have a surprise. I don't know if you know that our friend Eric Brook, I did this. Anyway, I remember right away. Yeah. Um, he's been doing a lot of video production. He's been producing music for years, but he's gotten into really doing music videos these days. And we were inspired, actually, the guys were mm -hmm. inspired. Directed by Nick and Mark. Yeah, Nick and Mark. I didn't introduce them. They're our special music guys today, Nick and Mark. <laughs> they got inspired by a video that we played, Unity on the Bay, in Miami. They had done a song together, and they got inspired and got a bunch of us together to sing a song, and we did our own. So here we go. There was a time yeah. in my life I thought I had to do it all by myself I didn't know the grace of God was sufficient and I didn't know the love of God was at hand but now I can say you are discouraged Straight just to make it through another day you've got to let it go let it go
I don't know if you guys noticed, but they got Faith Rivera and, from California and John Stringer from Atlanta and lots of, yeah, that was awesome. Yay! That was fun. I love you. Have a wonderful week. Stay for the meeting. Mwah. <laughs>